हेलो एवरी एन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम किशल ऑय सो एज यू ऑलरेडी केम टू नो फ्रॉम द थमनल दट इस दिन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंट टू टॉक अबाउट मॉक टेस्ट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट इन गेट गेट प्रिपरेशन सो एज यू ऑल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दैट मीन्स गेट नेक्स्ट ईयर एंड इट्स ऑलरेडी स्टार्टिंग ऑफ नवंबर सो यू शू स्टार्ट यू नो अपियरिंग फॉर द मॉक टेस्ट बिकॉज मॉक टेस्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रिपेरेशन नाउ मेनी पीपल हैव मेनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग मॉक टेस्ट लाइक हाउ मेनी मॉक टेस्ट दे शुड अपियर Uh, how to approach the mock test how to analyze them uh, which institutes has better mock test than the others then there are so many questions i came to know from many of the aspirants for last couple of years which whoever i have interacted so in this particular video i am going to talk about all of these topics and i i'll be sharing my experiences of uh, that how i used to appear for the mock test how i used to analyze and what are what are the things that you should keep in mind when you are appearing for mock tests so with a further ado you let's get started with today's video now first discuss who why you should appear for the mock test like i have discussed about it in one of my previous video also that your gate success 70% of it depends on how well you have prepared all the subjects like all the 10 or 11 subjects that is there in the gate syllabus but 30% depends on how you have managed the time how you have handled the hall pressure on the on that day of gate examination so that is also pretty crucial i mean there are many cases i have seen that where people have a very good preparation but they couldn't handle the hall pressure and they they couldn't have a very good very good gate rank so this this hall this managing hall pressure or managing time on that day of gate preparation that is also very crucial and all of these things you will be coming to know once you will be giving you will be starting giving mock test now what you will do i mean wh- what you will learn by giving mock test first of all, first of all is that how how will be i will be managing the time like how to you know like all these sections like there are one marks question two marks question and aptitude questions so per section how much time you should you should give and within how much time you should solve uh, a particular section that will that will come to know the rough idea Uh, of your of your capability you will come to know when you will be giving mock tests second is how to handle the mo- handle the hall pressure like suppose you started giving a giving a mock test and there are too many tough questions are coming then how to remain calm like suppose you 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 encounter three or four tough questions then how to remain calm and ap- approach the fourth one so that 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 is also a lesson because that can happen in the final exam also maybe the questions will be different not the question you are getting in the mock test but this situation may repeat in the in the final exam like you may encounter three or four questions and then you are not able to able to solve those three or four questions because they are tough then how to you know be calm and Ap- approach the fourth one that situation will 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 come may come in the final exam so that is also a lesson that that you will be learning when you will be you know appearing for different mock tests and also like which are the subjects are your strength and weaknesses and what are the silly mistakes you are doing all of these things you will be coming to know when you are appearing for the mock test so mock test is very very important and don't skip mock test uh, you should always give a mock test and prepare yourself so that you can you can handle the hall pressure and time management and that will help you for your better score in the gate examination now next is how to approach the uh, mock test and how to analyze them now now my my suggestion will be that when you are appearing for the mock test you should schedule 3 hours 3 uninterrupted hours so that you know when you start the mock test you you give it in a flow and you end it it should not be like you start the mock test then one, after one hour you are going out then again come back and finish don't do that when you are you are, you are appearing for the mock test take it as a full exam like your final exam and finish it uh, like you give the exam for 3 hours and then 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 only you you know come out of the room or come out of the of your table now when you are giving the mock test so the, the the point that you should keep in mind is that take it as your final exam and try to learn you know how to be calm when you are when you are you know facing the tough question or maybe the question is easy how to avoid too many silly mistakes so all of these things try to learn and because this environment will repeat i again repeat i again repeating that all these questions won't come in the final examination but the environment the situation will repeat in the final examination so you have to learn how to react through the questions if a question are easy medium tough how you are reacting that also you have to you have to keep in mind and once the exam is over please analyze the paper analyzing means that how how your situation was when you were you know going through this exam so you once the exam is done the mock test is done you will come to know about the toughness of the paper that okay the question was bit tough or easy or something or you can you can see the rank of other students also so you will come to know about the difficulty of the paper and then analyze that okay the paper was difficult 
आई कूडन हैंडल हैंडल द प्रेसर सो हैव टू डू वेल इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जामिनेशन और मे बी द पेपर इज ईजी बट आई हैव डन टू मेनी सिल मिस्टेक्स सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू यू हैव टू एनालाइज एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू एनालाइज योर स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेसेस लाइक हुई आर द सब्जेक्ट्स यू वेयर यू आर यू आर स्ट्रॉग इनअप लाइक यू आर यू आर यू आर सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन वेरी इजीली और देर मे बी सम सम टॉपिक्स वे आर यू आर नॉट दैट स्ट्रॉग इनअप दैट पार्ट दैट वीक यूर वीक वीकनेस वीकनेस पार्ट दैट यू हैव टू फोकस मोर एंड यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव एंड एट द सेम टाइम द स्ट्रॉग पार्ट यू हैव टू यू नो कीप वर्किंग इन द सिमिलर वे सो दैट यू नो द मोमेंटम शुड बी देयर एंड यू शुड इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम ऑल्सो यू शुड बी एबल टू डू वेल इन दो इन दो स्ट्रॉग पार्ट एंड यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव द इम्प्रूव इन द पार्ट वेर यू आर लैगिंग नाउ एंड फाइनली एज आर सींग दैट सिली मिस्टेक्स सो कीप ट्रैक ऑफ अ सिली मिस्टेक्स and when you are analyzing the paper analyzing the paper so all the silly mistakes that you have done before so recheck that that if you if you have done the same silly mistake again in that particular exam also and try to rectify them so these are the things that you have to you have to analyze and analysis is very important i mean i can say from my personal personal experience that in when i was appearing for 2016 gate examination i didn't analyze the mock test and that that was a very huge mistakes for me because i don't have any idea which are my strong part which are the silly mistakes which are my weak part so don't forget to analyze analyze the gate paper because that is pretty crucial and that will actually help you to to you know minimize your error understanding in a better way that which are your strong part and weak part and that will help you to get you know score good in the final exam now next question people ask me is how many mock test uh, they should give before the gate examination again it's a subjective question i mean i can't say the exact number but personally i have given 20 you can give at least 10 i will say because you know to understand all the patterns like tough question easy questions uh, medium questions so you should give at least 10 full full mock test that i understand and analyze them uh, so that you will have a idea of all the different flavors like how the questions coming tough maybe the one mark question are tough two marks are easy maybe the apt is tough so all this situation to understand them uh, you should give around 10 exams and try to give 10 mock tests from different uh, institute not from the same institute because Uh, if you are following the same institute most of the time their their papers are kind of similar so try to take two three coaching institution their mock tests and try to give them and people ask me to suggest which institution has better mock test paper than others frankly speaking no one has the best paper so they are almost similar uh, i won't recommend any particular institution you can take any one of them but remember them that these are gate coaching institution there are not iit or iisc so don't expect this kind of question in the final examination that won't come so the main purpose of having this mock test is try to you know understand how to handle the pressure how to handle the you know time management and all these scenarios like too many tough questions are coming easy questions are coming so how to react i mean you shouldn't be in a in a in a situation where in a blank situation in the final exam like you are not able to solve anything or something so that shouldn't happen so that you have to practice through the mock test don't don't be you know too much conscious about what are the questions are coming and all so you can take any two or three uh, mock test um, institutions uh, coaching uh, mock test that is available because you know that will give you different kind of flavors and all so that will be helpful now i'll be sharing my 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 story so i have taken uh, mock test from three institutions and i used to appear them in the in every alternative day so what i used to do is like i used to appear for gate like around in the in the in the gate timing like 9 to 12 or uh 2 2 2 to 5 so till i got my by admit card and i till i get to know about my exact gate timing so this was this was my plan like either 9 to 12 or maybe 2 to 5 and i started around this time november first week or october last week i started giving full length test and in the evening i used to analyze the gate paper like how was my paper uh, overall how was the toughness of the paper and how i have, how i have reacted to the paper and uh, like what are the strong points what are the topics i am strong now and what are the part i am lagging and what are the silly mistakes i am doing so all of these things i used to as to analyze uh during in during the evening time and the next day when i am not giving any mock test so in the next day i used to revise the subjects where i am not doing well where i am lagging and i used to keep keep a keep a eye on like how what are the silly mistakes i am doing so that you know i can rectify the in the next exam that will happen in the next day so this is why i this is the way i used to appear for the mock test in every alternative day so that's it guys that's it about uh, my experience and my messages to all of you how to approach for the mock test how to analyze them how many mock tests you to give and all so i hope you have come to know about uh, everything now all the questions that that was there in your mind and hopefully it will help you to you know take a preparation in a better way 
so if you like the video please like it and share it to many other people many other aspirants so that you know they also get to know about all of these things and it will be helpful for them also and if you're new to this channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notification uh, timely and regularly so that's it guys that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye